Hello. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Max. Getting up some final shuffles. As always, I've prayed, meditated, all that fun stuff. We're going to go ahead. I have no clue what sign I'm about to do. That's the fun part of these readings. I always like doing this. Uh, I've done a little over half. So let's see who's next. What sign is next? This is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't try to force it if it doesn't fit. It's not your reading. It's not your reading, my love. Okay. Who do we have? It looks like Aries. It's your turn. All right, let's go ahead and get it going. There's that. There's that. We're going to be using my archetype deck. I'm going to draw four cards, uh, and then we'll break it down with other decks as well. Also, just so you know, timelines are fluid. If you're interested in a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, information is in the box below. But tell me what I need to know for Aries. Coming up, what energy is coming towards Aries? There it is right out the gate. The queen. Boom. Boom. In your power, Aries. Don't get it twisted on the gender. Could be the king as well. That's the queen or king card. And you are a boss mother lover right now, Aries. Tell me more. What's coming towards Aries, please? There it is. The ocean. Literally, you may be taking a trip to the ocean, taking a vacation. The destroyer. And the Nados. Bottom of the deck. Overall energy is the Siren. Very interesting. Okay, Aries, two things. Number one, first and foremost, you're about to be feeling sexy. Okay, so let's talk about that. You are feeling really good right now. You're looking good. People are noticing. If you do not feel that way, that energy is coming towards you. Dare I say you're getting a new hairstyle or haircut uh, that's going to really make you feel empowered. Absolutely. Let's break down this energy for the king or the queen. This is actually the queen. I'll show the card again. Lotus flower with the snake, the red and the gold pearl. Tell me more about the queen for Aries. Tell me more about the queen. This could be a person you will be dealing with. Potential heartbreak, big time, right out the gate. Okay, Aries? This is, I feel, your energy. This is you currently or you are coming out of a massive heartbreak. Tell me more. Tell me more. There it is. Can't make it up. Cannot make it up. Tower and chariot. This is happening currently. This is absolutely happening right now. No doubt about it. Tell me more. The queen is not happy. The king is not happy. There you are. I can't make it up. Emperor. There you are. Aries in full power. Whatever happened here. Aries came in like a fucking boss, okay? Whatever you did, Aries, kudos to you. You're moving on very quickly. Whatever has happened or is about to happen, you are going to boss up and own this moment. I just heard they're all going to look at you. They're all going to look at you. They're all going to look at you being a boss. Tell me more. Yeah, they're all going to look at you. This is the five of wands. This is a heavy battle. Several people are aware. And they're, they're all going to look at you winning. They're all going to look at you being in your absolute prime. So if you need a confirmation on that one, Aries, there you go. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Whoever I'm connected with right now, like your energy's on fire. Good for you. Tell me about this ocean. Tell me about the ocean, please. Clarity. You need to get by the water. Absolutely. Absolutely need to get by the water. I'm hearing vacation. That's a lot of cards that just fell out, but I get it. I'm taking them. Here we go. The lovers. Nine of cups. Magician. Ace of swords. Let me explain something to you, Aries. Um, if this is regarding your love life, and I do feel that it is. There is a trip of significance or a day trip or something where you are going to be near water. It will be a pond, lake, ocean, river, something. On this trip or whatever is about to happen, this is where the absolute clarity comes in. 
on what direction to go in moving forward. This could be a potential friend or family member that is a Cancerian as well that is advising you on this situation. This is someone you may have mentored under as well. I'm getting that channeling. I also want to point out um, whatever has happened, Aries, you are coming out feeling very emotionally fulfilled on your own. Okay. If this is work related, whatever you've just manifested is exactly what you wanted. It's going down exactly how you want it. My nose is itching on that one. I feel that heavily. Tell me about the destroyer. What's the destroyer, please? What's the destroyer, please? Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Aries, if this is not for you, do not take this message. I am feeling heavily. There was a cheating party in this mix. No doubt about it. I feel I'm connecting with people that may have been married as well. You could have been cheated on by a potential earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or the other party involved was that. This person could have been married as well. The person that you got cheated on, okay, <clears throat> this is very specific. The person that was the third party, not your, not your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, not that person. The other person, the other third party was married. And if they weren't, they were engaged. They were absolutely in a committed relationship. I feel that heavily. This has literally destroyed a relationship or a commitment. Whatever has occurred has destroyed a relationship or commitment. Give me one more on that, please. Okay, not eight. <laughs> King of Cups. I've never looked at this card this way, but when I looked at it today, I see someone was dipping their foot elsewhere for whatever reason, okay? This person, I will tell you this, Aries, this per whoever cheated on you, whoever cheated, let me just say that, whoever cheated, thought they had feelings and emotions for somebody else. Their karma is that that other person did not have real feelings for your person. That person was still emotionally invested in the person they were with elsewhere. Their committed relationship. If that, if the person that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your partner that cheated was not feeling any love from this person. Because this person just wanted them for sex. They were, your partner was being used for sex. For physical only. Whereas your partner was willing to risk their relationship with you to go after something they had feelings for that didn't even have feelings for them. And that, while it's painful to hear, is necessary because that's what I'm seeing in these cards and feeling energetically. Notice how the candle just went out right when I said that. I am so sorry, Aries, because the Aries that I'm connecting with, I'm multiple, multiple of you are going through this. You've been cheated on. If you're a masculine watching this, your wife cheated on you with a, with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And that person was married. And that person used your, your, your wife or your girlfriend for sex. 
Take it how it resonates. And your wife or girlfriend, whoever, had feelings for this southern man. And he didn't have feelings for her. He used her. Vice versa. If this is your husband cheating on you, the woman they cheated with didn't have any feelings, no love for your, for your person, for your partner. Okay? So if that's the justice or karma that you needed to hear, my love, there you go. I'm seeing it all day in the cards. What's worse is a lot of people know about this. A lot of people are going to know about it, and they have to. So I'm literally seeing a Band-Aid ripping off. And guess what? Guess what, Aries? <laughs> guess what is coming your way at the end of this? This is your energy. People are going to want to be offering themselves to you because that's how you're going to be viewed as. Don't get it twisted on the gender. This is someone who's viewed as as sexy as hell, powerful, intoxicating. Offers are going to be coming in left and right for you, Aries. And that's the part of the journey. Okay, this is a pearl in the middle of that. Do you know how pearls are formed? Very long. It's a very long, lengthy process, right? And part of that process is sometimes having to just rip the Band-Aid off. I don't know where I'm getting that message. Tell me about the NATOs. Yep, there it is. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, everyone's going to want to offer you love and support throughout this. Knight of Wands. There it is. There's another suitor immediately coming after you for a partnership. Aries, I feel like you already know somebody that wants to be with you. And you've obviously not approached because you've been in this relationship. Whoever that person is that just came to your mind, this person is going to let it be known. Okay? So there's that. I feel really good about that. This is also speaking to partnerships. Only those that support you through whatever you've just gone through get in. 11-11 on this card. I love this energy for you because this is really, it's a positive. Yeah, there's the hermit. Okay, you may have been dealing with a Virgo Aries or this is happening Virgo season. This is the Virgo card. This is happening currently in the next 30 days. Everybody knowing about whatever's happened here, this is absolutely happening in the next 30 days. Tell me more options and sneakiness everyone's gonna hear about what a piece of work your partner has been okay everyone's gonna hear about it Aries and you know what you're gonna be looked at as god I'm so glad Aries got out of that relationship thank god because you deserve better than this Aries okay so if this is not your story and this is not your reading if you have not been cheated on or if you have not just recently found out this ain't for you or you're about to find out and you already have a hunch. I'm telling you, the people I'm connected with right now are going through the fucking ringer. And you have my utmost respect and, and just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Believe me, I know what it's like to get cheated on. 13, 13 on the clock, right, when I say that. Six of swords on the bottom of the deck. You're leaving it behind, Aries. Moving on. Foundations are meant to crumble. Ones that are not stable. Ones that are not real. Do you want a foundation made out of straw? No. You don't. And that's why you're walking away. You don't need the fucking anxiety. This has given you so many sleepless nights, it's not even funny. That is your well-being. If you have children, do your children need that? No. Do your coworkers need that? No. Do you or your family members need that? No. And your time is up on not talking about it. All right? It's over. That was right underneath this. It's over. I don't normally take reversals, but this is the energy I'm feeling throughout this entire freaking reading, Aries. Oh, I want to give you the biggest of hugs. You've obviously been a baller throughout this process, whatever has happened, whatever's occurred. And let me explain something to you, Aries. Let me explain to you. From one queen in her own right to another. From one king, whoever. We're the same, my friend, okay? I know what it's like to get kicked to the curb. I know what it's like to be made a fool in front of your entire network. 
professional and personal. But when you come out clean and you remain classy and you speak with power and eloquence and you speak truth, everyone sees who you really are. Do not waver. Do not get even. Do not be sketchy. That is not who you are. And that is absolutely not what you want to attract next time. Okay? All my love, thank you so much for all of your support, Aries. You absolutely have all of mine. I'll be sending you extra prayers, love, and light. I know how difficult this process is for you. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one private session, just you and I to go a little bit deeper into your situation, all of, all of my information is below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will be back with more readings, Aries. And I guarantee you the next message will be a hell of a lot better than this one, okay? So all my love, take care. Bye.